I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Land, on the Early What I Think You Scripture Study and Prayer Line on this 20th day in February 2018. I'm torn. Uh, but, um, um, okay. John 8. Let's go to John 8, y'all. John 8, was, let's start at the 25th first. Look what it say. Yakanan, y'all. His name is Yakanan. 8 and 25. Then said they unto him, Who art thou? And Yahushua said unto them, Even the same that I said unto you from the beginning. Funny about the Mashiach, he don't change. Because the Mashiach is the word, and the word don't change. I have many things to say and to judge of you, but he that sent me is true, and I speak to the world those things which I have heard of him. Hallelujah. And they understood not that he spake to them of the Father. Then said Yahushua unto them, When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall you know that I am he and that I do nothing of myself, but as my Father has taught me, I speak these things. And he said, and he that sent me is with me, and the Father hath not left me alone, for I do always those things that please him. As he spake these words, many believed on him. Then Yahushua said to those Jews which believed on him, if you continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Then answer him, then they answered him, we be Abraham's seed, and were never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou, ye shall be made free? And Yahushua answered them, Verily, verily I say unto you, Whosoever committed sin is the servant of sin. And the servant abideth not in the house forever, but the son abideth forever. If the son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. I know that you are Abraham's seed, but you seek to kill me, because my word had no place in you. I speak that which I have seen with my father, and you do that which you have seen with your father. They answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father. Yahushua said unto him, If you were Abraham's children, you would do the works of Abraham. But now you seek to kill me, a man that have told you the truth, which I have heard of Yah. This did not Abraham. You do the deeds of your father. Then said they to him, we be not born of fornication. We have one father, even Yah. Yahushua said unto him, If Yah were your father, you would love me. For I perceived forth and came from Yah. Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Why do you not understand my speech, even because you cannot hear my words? You are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. But when he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. <clears throat> um, another quick scripture, and then let's talk. John 15, right, and 3. And it says, you're clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Um, you look at this exchange, this conversation that the Mashiach was having uh, with with, uh, with uh, the so-called Jews, and. In the conversation, you notice how some believed him. And those that believed him, he said to them, if you continue 
Don't stop now. If you continue in my word, you'll be my disciples. If, let's stop being religious in our mental theology, because it's upon condition. If you then be risen with the Messiah, seek those things which are above. If any man will come after me, let him deny himself. It's an if. You ain't got to do nothing. Straight up if. If you continue in my word, then you're my disciples. Because if you don't, you ain't. That's why he said if. Because you got a choice. He was noticing those that was clinging to what he said. And there was some that was listening to the point that they, their heart was yearning for it. They were receiving it. Look at this, though. Let me tell you something. Simultaneously, the very same conversation in the very same word, talking to the very same crowd, There was some that responded different. He's having a conversation with a group of people. And those that were in the crowd, the word was affecting them one way, while exactly the same time, that very same word was affecting a part of the crowd another way. The very same word that he was teaching, was administering life to a certain demographic of that crowd. And as he spoke that very same word, it was offending the heck out of others. Same word. Same word. He wasn't having two separate conversations. That wasn't two different sermons. You can get a hundred people in the room and the word go forth. And a portion of them come out saved and excited. Clinging to eternal life. And a certain portion leave mad. Who do he think he is? I didn't like what he said. Same word. The word teaches um, that we're clean through the word which he have spoken unto us. If you're going to get clean and you're going to change, it's going to be through what he said to you. It ain't going to be like these folk, fake folk talking about he forced me to live right. Man, quit lying to yourself because it might help you stop lying to us. He ain't forcing nobody to do nothing. Whosoever will let him come. Everybody not willing. Did you know the the word is the divider? Did you know when he said, I didn't come to bring peace, I came to bring a sword to divide mother from son and father from daughter and brother from sister? The sword that he was talking about is the word. The word divides natural families. The word comes single-handedly and divides sheep from goats. The word does that. Those that belong to him, you're clean through the word. Those that belong to him, the word going to come. You as sheep and the sheep hear his voice. The word going to come and, 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 and demolish that bad habit. Demolish that sinful nature. It went on to say, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Those that uh, belong to him. Because that same truth was killing them religious people. Who you think you're talking to? Talking about being made free. I ain't been in bondage to nobody. Huh. I got my own stuff. My own house, my own car. I take care of myself. That's how a carnal mind received the word. 
It's a silent war going on. Sometimes it get verbal. The world can start rubbing you in the wrong way to where you can't be quiet no more. You speak up and start speaking against truth. Your disposition and your position starts to fight against truth. Because you're headed in the wrong direction. He did not have two different sermons here. I'm calling it sermons, (laughs) y'all. It was just a conversation. The sermon is just a conversation. (laughs) If we take the religiousness off of it. He was speaking to one crowd with the very same word, one conversation. And to certain, it was administering life, and to others, it was administering death all at the same time. What I say on the one, I say on the all. He's talking to everybody, but some folks were feeling like, who the heck you think you're talking to? And some people were saying, Hallelujah. Preach, preacher. Hallelujah. You should know the truth. You got to be intimate with truth. Can the truth come? And and, 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 and and do you love it enough for it to supersede how you feel? You love the truth? Some people don't love the word more than how they feel. It's all going to be proven. But the word will come. And it's going to expose you. Did you notice the word said that the Jews that believed on him, he said to them, if you continue. They believed, but you have to continue because they can believe now and stop believing eventually. If the word keep coming up your street and you start getting offended with it, then the word is now starting to work against you. Or more accurately, you beginning to work against the word because the word got a job to do. The word said, I began to work in you and I'm going to finish it. I'm going to clean you up. That's why John 15 and 3 said, you are clean through the word. The word is going to get in your business and clean you up unless you start rebelling against it. It's completely up to you. You can start telling the word, and that's enough now. You start telling the word, now you getting in my personal business now. You begin to tell the word, uh-uh. You're going to get checked at the door. You're talking to Yah, whether you know it or not. You notice how he said, uh, once I be lifted up, then you're going to find out who I am. What well, after you killed me. After you went against me, you're going to find out that that wasn't the best thing you could have did. You don't know now because you're feeling yourself. You grow. Come and go as you please. Do what the heck you want to do. And ain't nobody going to force you to do nothing. You grow. But once I be lifted up, there's going to be a point in time. The words say every eye going to see him, even those that pierced him, those that were his uh, uh, uh Murderers is going to see you. He's just going to be on different terms. Right now he's coming with mercy, trying to plead with you to save your soul. You don't want to see him after you rejected that. Because he will return, he ain't going to be playing. See, that's how I'll be lifted up. You'll going you to realize who I, who I tried to told you. <laughs> you going to realize who I tried to told you. They said we be Abraham's seed. They was kind of kind of excited about their pedigree. They went on to personalize and told them, "You be born of fornication. When you preach truth, folks try to find fault in you." He's preaching truth that's giving life to others, giving life to some, but to the others, they're being so offended that they wanted to talk about his mama now. We we not born of fornication. We we Abraham see. Your mama cheated on Joseph. You a bastard. Oh, it got personal. He got personal because they carnal and they wouldn't bow down the truth. He had to break the news to them. You shall know every tree by the fruit it bear by what it do. See see he said he said I'm telling you the truth and you seek to kill me. I'm telling you the truth. You're starting to not like me. You're slowly being rubbed the wrong way. 
which is natural. Did you know those that are saved, flesh get rubbed the wrong way as well? You ain't no alien. You might be responding like the devil right now, but you're not no alien. The Messiah can say something to a hundred to a crowd of a hundred people, and every last one of all a hundred flesh got smacked in the mouth. Every last one of them. Those that corner don't know that. But everybody out there, when y'all speak, the flesh gets smacked. It's the spirit that quickly, the flesh profits nothing. Every, there ain't nobody flesh profited in having a relationship with the Most High. Nobody's. Most High say something to all hundred folks, and all hundred got smacked in the flesh. But those that love his word more than they flesh will say hallelujah. And those that are led by their flesh get mad. Same word that slapped those that reacted wrong was the same word that slapped the believing Jews. But the believing Jews said, trick that, you slapped me good. It's the truth. Preach on, preacher. Because I, re- I receive what you're saying over how I feel. Oh, you're clean through the word. The word come to clean you up and smack you, smack your flesh. Slap the taste out of it. Slap the cigarette out your dog on mouth. He slapped it out of mine. Slap the slap the lick out your cup. It slapped it out of mine. Slap that lust out your eye. It slapped it out of mine. Everybody got slapped. Everybody got some lust to deal with. Everybody got a craving to too to deal with. The word come going to smack you. Everybody got to get there whether they like it or not. Huh. Everybody got to deny, not put their spouse over the word. Everybody got to endure loneliness and singleness, even if you married. Folks, think uh, of being married, take away loneliness. You lost your dog on mine. That's just a carnal way of looking at it because you're licking your flesh, feeling sorry for yourself. Getting married don't stop other folks from looking good. Get married don't 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 stop people from being being uh, being uh, lonely. In fact, you can be double lonely. You married, you can't even uh, think you gonna solve it because you already got somebody that's 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 that's, that's, that's starving you of attention. That's why we gotta look on to the hills when we come our help. Our help come from Yah. Can no man satisfy you? Can no woman satisfy you? It's all, it's all in ya. Same conversation was jumping off. Everybody in the crowd getting smacked. Everybody fleshed that in. Everybody fleshed getting rubbed the wrong way. But somebody loved their children enough to go to work anyway, even though the boss ain't cool, even though it's a long travel. They love their children enough to travel the highways and fight traffic to get that check because they love their family more than they, than they despise the inconvenience. And some folks love Yah, love his word more than discomfort that they flesh go through. That's why he told you. You don't suffer with me, you won't reign with me. Because the only way you're going to be able to keep this word is if you're willing to go against yourself. And in that crowd, there was a group of people that wasn't willing to go against themselves. So they wanted to argue him down. They wanted to disagree with him. They wanted to accuse him of being a bastard. They wanted to call him a madman. They called him a Samaritan and said he had a devil. Did I read that far? (laughs) It was a cold conversation they was having. Everybody flesh got slapped, but those that were led by their flesh, lived a carnal life, is the ones that spoke up. And those that spoke up and revealed who, who what spirit they was in, what spirit they was of, that's the, the, the ones he said, you're your father, the devil. The word fished you out. The sword came. I came to divide up this crowd. 
with one conversation. I'm not having two conversations. You ain't going to accuse me of being a, 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 a partial having respect to persons, when I said on the or, or one, I said I was talking to all y'all. This dog is of the devil. You, you know, ouch. Start rebelling. Start saying what they ain't going to do. I ain't giving you nothing. I ain't going to. We got to keep our flesh under subjection in order to serve the most high. If you allow your flesh to take over, don't think you're not the only one going through it. Don't think you are the only one who flesh gets smacked by the word. Even the preacher gets smacked by the word. All flesh. There's no flesh that's going to glory in his sight. The flesh profits nothing. A carnal agenda does not profit in serving Yah. All agendas get crushed. Desire to drop it like it's hot. Whoever's desiring to drop it like it's hot. You might not be the type to like to drop it like it's hot in front of a whole crowd of people. You might want to drop it like it's hot in front of one or two. But when a word comes to tell you you can't drop it like it's hot, it hit everybody that want to drop it like it's hot. And those that love Yah, those who love the word, those who want to allow the truth to make them free, will say, oh, man, I can't get drunk. I can't hang out with them. Say, come out from among them, be separate. Be on unequally yoke. <laughs> Pretty sure everybody at one point or another wanted to be unequally yoked because of how somebody looked, how somebody made you feel. You ain't the only one. But some folks do mind things of the flesh. They which are the spirit, mind things of the spirit, and they are the flesh, the things of the flesh. And when you fleshly, you you subject to reject the word to do mind things of the flesh. <laughs> I'm going to do what my flesh want me to do. You got some folks like that. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do what my flesh want me to do. <laughs> what you gonna do? I'm gonna do what the spirit told me to do. And they gonna cause you to be uncomfortable, yeah. <laughs> but I'm more comfortable being with him than satisfying my flesh. You go to the liquor store. I'm gonna go to 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 the Bible book store. <laughs> uh, you going to the club? I'm going to service. You going to work? I'm going to prayer. <laughs> you know, so and so gonna be there. Oh, I'd love to see so and so, but I'd love to see y'all more. <laughs> you know, you go there, you're gonna be lonely. <laughs> I'd rather be lonely and be with y'all. <laughs> you can have this whole wide world, but I'm gonna take your your husha for mine. We're clean to the word. We're clean to the word. If we gonna be clean, it's gonna be through the word. The same word that slaps your flesh. The same word that will offend your flesh. It's the same word that's giving you eternal life. And if you allow the word to offend your flesh to the point that you take your flesh side, then you have your father, the devil. And the lust of your father you will do, because you shall know every tree by the fruit it bear. And when the word comes, you're going to respond. You're either going to respond with the word, or you're going to respond against it. And if you're spiritually minded, you're going to respond spiritually and bow down to the word. And if you're carnal minded, you're going to respond with the flesh, because the word is going to smack your flesh, and you're going to say, you better back up. Better back up off me. They aimed it at the Messiah, but they really was talking to Yah because they didn't know that that the Messiah was the Father. (laughs) 
He's the everlasting father and the prince. He was the son. The prince is the son, y'all. He's the everlasting father and the prince. See, the everlasting father humbled himself and became robed as a prince. He became the son of the king, even though he was the king. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. As we beheld his glory as of the only begotten of the Father, the only body that Yah put on and lived in. <laughs> Being born of a virgin, he humbled himself unto death, even the death on that tree for you and me. You can go against the sun. <laughs> you can go against the physical part of the sun. It was disrespectful. But the main offense was you was going against they were going against the word. The only thing that can clean you. The only thing that's offering you eternal life. Heaven and earth gonna pass away and the only thing gonna be standing is his word. And if you expect to be standing, you better be standing on what he said. You better you better you better hide his word. What he said, y'all. You better hide his word in your heart that you might not sin against him. You don't want to do that. You want to hide the word in your heart that you might not sin against him. In closing, he was telling them, he said, You know what? This is y'all talking, y'all. He said, I want to reason with you. Right? He said, Come now, let us let us reason again. <laughs> Though, though your sins be be as scarlet, <laughs> they shall be white as snow. Scandalous as it is, as red as it is, as bloody and scandalous as it is, they shall be white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, <laughs> they shall be as wool. If you be willing and obedient, you should eat of the gut of the land. But if you refuse and rebel, you should be devoured with the sword. For the mouth of Yah, Yahuwah, have spoken it. There's a choice to be made when the word comes. Either you're going to bow down to it, or you're going to bow down to your flesh and do what the heck you want to do. Those that obey Yah, they don't do what they want to do. They do what they're told to do. Those that are saved do not do what their flesh wants them to do. Don't think they don't want to kiss. Don't think they don't want to start swinging. Don't think they don't want to start shooting. Don't think they don't want to respond. It's enough baby oil up in here to, to lather up everybody in the room. We can just all just start slipping around up in here. You ain't the only one that like baby oil, warm it up. But those that belong to Yah, those that belong to Yah, do not mind the things of the flesh. They mind the things of the spirit. They obey the Ruach HaKadosh irregardless of how their flesh might feel. The word went forth in that conversation in John 8. And it rubbed some people the wrong way. But it gave eternal life to others. Very same conversation. And if you one of the ones that is getting life out of John 8 in regards to how your flesh feels, that he has one more thing to say to you. If you continue, you should be my disciples indeed. Spirit of living, y'all, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you. Humble as we know how, gleaning in your word, we pray that that very same word that was preached minister life to those that belong to you. Continue to strengthen your children as we walk according to the leading of your Ruach HaKadosh, knowing that we're clean through the word that you have spoken on to us. Clean us up, and we're forever so grateful into eternity. In the matchless name of Yahushua HaMashiach, we humbly celebrate. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and all may.